I'm thinking along the lines of Quick maybe making a deep run and and of course uh, possibly or most likely Mars. I think Mars doing a deep run. Yeah, I mean, I think if, like when you're looking at all the talent that plays all the Metroid characters, I think Mars is going to be the top pick to break the curse potentially. Yeah. And for all the new viewers that don't know what we're talking about, essentially 2GG ran a bunch of these tournaments called Sagas and whatever the Saga was themed is either themed the player or, or a franchise. None of the players or like characters within the franchise would win the tournament. So pretty much it's a curse that whatever, you know, whenever 2G runs a saga, whatever it's themed after, that like character pool or those players will not win the tournament. And this curse has gone throughout all Smash 4 without being broken. And now we have the very first saga in Ultimate. So we'll see how, uh, how strong the curse starts off in Ultimate. Yeah, you know, if I were Panda Global and wanting Mars to win, I'd like get a psychic out here, start doing some sort of curse breaking chant to try to like get rid of some sort of uh, whatever mojo 2G has going on, just because there have been a couple of close calls, but nothing, you know, not really. It's more often than not, it's uh, even when Zero was at the top of his game, he still couldn't even break the curse. The so. best player in the world could not beat the curse. Right. <laughs> and like he was like the best player by far like right. at that, especially at that point in time he was just so consistent he was just winning everything so yeah. uh yeah i mean just goes to show how strong the curse is and and like i said mars is probably the best contender in terms of just like talent pool that we have here to break the curse but i mean trella has not traveled outside of texas for a tournament trella a very very talented player coming from texas and yeah he's just so so good and playing a character like ridley i don't know if people are ready for a ridley at that level right he's just a monster coming out of Houston, pretty much. Just you know, I used to love going down to Houston and play some of the old guard. Trella was kind of in that brawl mid age. Of, he came oh, through yeah. right after the Genus and uh, the Razor. All oh, the Razor was at this tournament. It was at this tournament I saw too. Yo, so, Razor like, hype. Yeah, Texas still coming playing out. Snake? <laughs> um, still playing Snake? I think so. I didn't actually okay. see. You. I know you got a Captain Falcon down, and it's like in a Smash okay. Four for a while. Uh, but we're moving into some matches here. I think it was Triton versus not Miley Cyrus. Um, Triton, I think, going the, the Mario and um, not Miley Cyrus going Palutena. Yeah, Palutena is definitely not Miley Cyrus for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. That back air hits like a wrecking ball, right? So Yeah, you know. true. That back air is very, very good. But we'll, we'll see how this matchup goes. Mario, definitely um, a combo character. Palutena, like, you, you have some combos, but they're usually like onesie, twosie strings. But Mario definitely, especially on this uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 platform layout, can get a lot of extensions with that up air combo. And it'll definitely be something that, you know, Triton's looking out for, especially right now. He's falling a little bit behind in this match. He's got to figure out something to get the wheels turning. Yeah, but Miley Cyrus, not Miley Cyrus, <laughs> starting, to, starting to run away with it. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to triple for that one a couple times. I'm going to call them Miley Cyrus. When they are specifically the opposite of Miley Cyrus, they are not Miley Cyrus. Right, and Triton is trying to get in, trying to get these combos started, but... Uh, not Miley Cyrus is doing such a good job of keeping Mario out, and that's exactly what. Oh, okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and we All got right. the forward air coming out from Triton. Wow, what a way to start this first game. Yeah, you talk about picking your spot to, you know, make a big shot. He, he dunked him. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely dunked. And the wheels are still turning, trying to pick up a combo. Didn't quite get the forward air. He's feeling it. He's like, it worked before. Why not throw it out again? Yeah, what a jump call out coming out from Triton, and that's exactly what he needed to come back into this game. Not Miley Cyrus almost getting that explosive flame. Ooh, but the early up B mix up coming out from Triton. Yeah, clears him off the ledge and lets him get back into the neutral game. Oh, he saw not Miley Cyrus trying to scout out an up smash on the approach. He's trying to feel Ooh. out, uh, not quite enough to kill with the back throw. Oh, but the directional air dodge is going to position himself, but the two frame, another directional air dodge, and Miley, or not Miley Cyrus will go ahead and catch that with the up air. Yeah, just very good tracking him, you know, uh, Triton didn't have a lot of places to go and very good patience on Not Miley Cyrus part putting away that stock. Now yeah, let's exactly. see, let's see if Not Miley Cyrus is able to get the wheels turning back, you know, at the at the early onset, Not Miley Cyrus was storming out in the lead until that big hit coming out from Triton. So let's see if they can maintain the game plan, stick to it and battle right back into bringing it at even. Quite yeah. a bit of a deficit to make up between now and 100, you know, 20%. And right now, Triton definitely keeping the pressure on. And there's the up smash to follow. That will be the second stock for Not Miley Cyrus. And he's just going to need to just get the wheels turning, honestly. Like, it's, it's just hard because Triton's doing such a good job of not getting hit by these back airs, not getting hit by the, some of these projectiles. But Not, not Miley Cyrus needs these to start get the ball rolling. Yeah, it's, it's just something like, geez, or my, Not Miley Cyrus is doing a, having a difficult time just finding the right opportunities. He's getting a straight hit here or there, but not really 
anything over powerful. And on the other side of it, it just kind of feels like Triton's, whenever he's needed a call out or needed a big hit between that forward air and the up smash to take the second stock, he's found it right where he needed it. And mm -hmm. right now, getting the up tilts turning, we got some big damage coming out. Oh, no up B to follow it off. But it's still going, landing neutral air to down smash. Oh, yeah, so much damage coming here for Triton. And when he gets in, he really makes it count, like we've been pointing out over and over again. He he, do, he knows exactly when to make those big plays, which is why he's ahead. And there's the up smash, but not going to quite take the stock, but so much damage already on Not Miley Cyrus. Prospect's looking dim for any sort of game two comeback, but it's ultimate. We've seen crazier things. That's how you get it started. Got an edge guard situation. See if Not Miley Cyrus can capitalize. Oh, unfortunate overcommit. Triton gets the up smash and takes game one. The noggin will go ahead and seal that out. And what looked like a very difficult uphill climb for Triton, just one jump re with the forward air, rode the momentum and ended up being a two stock in Triton's favor. What a great game number one to start this off. It's always a game of uh, inches and a game of exchanges and Triton got the better of it at that first early, you know, the early onset. And that's kind of what happens sometimes. You get that one big hit, you put your opponent on their heels and they're starting to play from behind and start to play with a little bit of doubt, a little bit of hesitancy. And we're talking about fear, ignorance, and greed. Fear can uh, be the end of uh, even the best players overall. So let's see if not Miley Cyrus can come out strong, come out with confidence like they were in the first stock of game one, and maybe turn this one around. So we're going to be on battlefield here. We're going to have the bigger blast zones, but of course, we're going to have those good combo extensions um, on these platforms as well. So something that both players can abuse. I would have think, you know, I would have thought on my end that maybe Mario gets a little bit more mileage out of the platform layout more yes. so than not Miley Cyrus. But sometimes it just comes down to player preference, what they feel more comfortable on. You know, yeah. matchups be damn pretty much. Right, right, and yeah, I would definitely agree. Mario gets quite a lot of platform extensions on this uh, stage. But I mean, if not Miley Cyrus is just very comfortable on the stage, then go for it. Oh man, that almost catches the uh, up B there. Yeah, almost picking up right where he left off, going for some big damage plays. And this could be not Miley Cyrus opportunity to capitalize. Oh, air dodge, forced air. That's a good, you know, exploding flame off stage and made him air dodge. Kind of put your opponent in these really tough situations where they have to navigate it perfectly. I bet Triton was trying to air dodge to the edge, but it was just not quite close enough to make it happen. Not quite there and had no double jump as well. Really great stuff from Not My Stars. Getting this stock lead and now maneuvering on these platforms, making it very difficult for Trident to get the hit, but the forward smash connects. Yeah, very good job. Just waiting for him to overcommit and he ends up picking it up. Now Not My Cyrus is gonna have to do it the old fashioned way and not play without the or not play with the stock lead. You know, it's that's such a powerful thing in Smash. The difference between having a percent lead on the same stock versus having a, a stock lead overall, it cannot be overstated. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, here's the platform extension, but not going to pull the trigger on that up air. Just quite a little bit misspaced there, but the forwarder almost connects here for Triton. And it looks like maybe not Miley Cyrus has caught on to the aggression coming out from Triton in those forward air situations and, you know, kind of sending out a little preemptive uh, up specials. Maybe look for Triton to kind of bait that out and try to on stage punish with an up smash. Oh, there's the double jump getting hit by the auto reticle, and what a turnaround here for not Miley Cyrus. Wow. Yeah, good pickup off stage, you know. As we were saying, uh, got it out something and really made the play happen. And he's up by a stock now and continue. Wow, called out the jump with an up special. And I, I feel like the main reason why not Miley Cyrus is so comfortable on the stage is because of the uh, mix-ups he gets with the triplats. On his upbeat, we've seen not Miley Cyrus continually upbeat onto the top platform or utilize these side platforms as well. So really great utilization, and he's a... Uh, He's just, it's his ticket out of disadvantage against Triton, which is is so, so important in this game. Right, we were talking about how the stages might impact the offensive capabilities of the players, but oftentimes the counter pick does come down to how does it help them navigate that disadvantage and break, you know, break through on the defensive end. And as we say, sometimes the best defense is a good offense or the best offense is a good defense. And in this case so far, it's the defense that's proving pivotal for not Miley Cyrus. Right, but Triton gets the downer, almost connects with the forward air though, great. Yeah, coming out from Miley Cyrus. The up air, yes, it will. The wing's going to clip Mario, and that will be game number two going to not Miley Cyrus. It might have caught him a little bit uh, off guard because he threw a fireball from way up there. You know, not really something that's um, overly necessary to commit to as far as helping you get back down. And, you know, up air will come for all of us from Palutena at some point or another. 
Yeah, uh, Mario and even like Pichu, Pikachu. Sometimes you'll catch them sleeping, just setting up those lazy uh, neutral bees and oh, yeah. be able to sneak right up under and get that up air. So really good stuff on Night Miley Cyrus. Seeing that habit and taking advantage of it, going to swing game two into his own favor. Now we're here, game three. And game three is going to Kalos, and we were talking about counter pick advantages, and you know I, I feel like Crichton also understood that the uh, platforms were giving not Miley Cyrus a lot of advantages. So, oh, let's open up the game a little bit. Let's reduce the number of platforms on stage, and let's go to Kalos. And Kalos with the uh, platforms being fanned out more towards the edge as well. Um, not Miley Cyrus not going to have those strong mix-ups towards the center of the stage with right. that teleport. It does uh, allow for some interesting Edgar exchanges, though, and let's see who gets the wheels turning first. Looks like Triton coming out in the early going, putting on a pretty big damage exchange and just all over that shield, crossing up and putting in a jab. But now Miley Cyrus is getting, you know, not back, but oh, big forward smash in the neutral. Has, a, has not Miley Cyrus off stage. Yeah, barely catching that. I, I feel like Triton almost had the read on that, but was not able to get the correct punish. The down air into the back air. Wow, so much damage coming in for not Miley Cyrus. Yeah, both these players picking some pretty courageous options right now in the neutral. I think I kind of that's what happens in game three. You kind of feel out your opponent the first game, start to get your reads in the second game, and you know, if third game is throw out all the stops, throw what you know, and make it happen. Wow, and right there, Triton should have been dead, but had the wall jump available, so he was able to live after that directional air dodge. Okay, gonna drift in, gonna drop zone for that upbeat to the ledge. Really good stuff from Triton, gonna survive that. Triton shouting out the platform drop uh, aerial with an up smash, trying to play the anti-air game. Not Miley Cyrus being as patient as possible, able to get out of that situation, get out of the corner back into neutral. But you have Triton capitalizing, and oh, what a pickup with the grab. Gets the back throw, get a little yoink, and take him yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Triton just biting a little bit more than he can chew right there. That down throw is going to get the stock there. And you have to be so careful when your opponent is sitting pretty on that platform or by the corner, especially if they have a killing back throw. They want you to overextend. They want you to hit that shield in a in like some kind of misspaced way so they can get that back throw kill. And it looks like maybe Triton's uh, feeling the pressure of the moment. Just, oh, okay, never mind. He's got a good pickup right there. Good no job. Oh, wow, the flood actually stalled him out enough for the down smash to connect. What a play coming out from Dryden. That's yeah, a good a good pickup overall and keeping him right in the game. I was about to say that it looked like not Miley Cyrus is starting to run away, but Triton's kind of found, found his footing and is holding it pretty steady. Here's a grab. Let's see what kind of pickup. The neutral air is coming out. Here's the scoops. Wow. There's the big game. damage. Yeah. And just like that, Mario's damage output definitely showing why. And I, I like Triton. He's he's committing more to like flood and fireball if uh, not Miley Cyrus is committing towards those edges. Because I mean, if if there's no shield coming out from not Miley Cyrus, the flood will just push her or push Palutena off stage. All right, and he's able to navigate out of the car. Oh, oh <laughs> the call out! The yeah. call out! Yeah, exactly. I know you're going to land in an air with an arrow up in my face. And like you said, just a really hard call coming out from Trident. But can he make it count? Can he get that extra damage? No, he can't. The neutral air will seal it out. We're game three, last stock apiece, 0%. All right, and it's a dog by now. Who wants it more? They're playing it pretty even. And it looks like, you know, I think Trident has kind of a small read on those platform drop off aerials. Got a parry, got that, uh, you know, the forward smash in the last stock. So that might play pivotal in the matchup. You see, not Miley Cyrus kind of going to it. It's kind of the safety crutch in the neutral game right now. And it just kind of seems like Triton's got all over it and picking up big damage for it right now. And both players playing a lot more safe on this final <laughs> stock here. And uh, we see the caution coming out from both of them. And by all means, I, I, this is when you start tightening it up. You know, that final <laughs> stock, you want to make sure there's not, like, not too many openings. Oh, good tech there on not Miley Cyrus's part. Yeah, the scout of the jab looking for a little flop action, but doesn't pick up the lock. And we're right into it. It's going to be close. And Asimov stage. It and he's trying to get back game. to the center of stage. Not Miley Cyrus controlling so much of the stage. And he just won't let him out of the corner. Oh, man, the drop zone there almost catching that up B. Uh, very fortunate for Triton. And he's still alive in it. Got a chance. Not Miley Cyrus done a good job to build up a lead and make sure that the game has to come to him. So let's see he's able to pick it up and put it away. But Triton, you know, you know on the other side, doing everything he can to take this game three. No one wants to take that long road in the loser's bracket. Oh, but no. <laughs> yeah, not Miley Cyrus playing that slow projectile game, just waiting. 
Because you know you have uh, Triton scouting out any sort of approach option, getting stuff by a forward smash. Oh, and that was a change. <laughs> I got even scared. Though, <laughs> even though Trident has like the center stage control, just because Paulu has the range, there's the drop zone there, and that will do the trick here. Not Miley Cyrus is going to take that 2-1 over Trident. And not a bad opening act here for Wave 4 of Pools. Um, you know, you got not Miley Cyrus after the uh, first game, you know, kind of getting knocked in the teeth early. Found yeah. the adaptations and was able to bring it home. Great, great stuff to not Miley Cyrus. And yeah, just doing a really good job. And we saw, even though Trident had the center stage control, uh, not Miley Cyrus was content with like either hanging on the Kalos platform or hanging by the ledge and just abusing the fact that, you know, Politana does have the range. She does have the auto reticle. She does have the explosive flame. She has all these projectiles that Mario has to respect. And he definitely made it very clear that he wasn't going to pull the trigger.